So this is something special. Um, I'm not really a pedal guy, but when I saw the specs, <laughs> I had to buy it. I've already started cutting it because it was really wrapped up here, but uh, This comes from Jumble Stamp Stop. They're based in Chicago. They are a um, independent pedal company. Apparently, they also teach kids about electronics and assembly design. But uh, here she is. This is <laughs> the Jumble Stop Continuum. So it's three pedals in one, and what it's doing is it's trying to replicate the sound uh, that John Mayer got on said album. Now, you might say, Derek, what are you what are you doing here? But there are three pedals in this. Oh, that just looks cool. I like how they labeled that. Um, three pedals. There's a Robert Keeley's Katana Clean Boost. There is a British, uh, well, Marshall Blues Breaker. And there is an Ibanez, the infamous, or I guess famous, <laughs> Tube Screamer. So three pedals, three different circuits, all put into one really cool looking package. Um, when I first saw it, I thought that it was a mock-up and it wasn't real. Like, I was like, this can't be. But uh, apparently it is, and it looks amazing. I can't wait to hook this thing up. All right, I just got it plugged up. Um, I took the reverb and the vibrato off, so this is just the clean, clean fender. I got John behind me on the wall there. All right, so that's clean. This is the uh, Blues Buster. So. That's British Steel. That sounds like a... with the Tube Screamer. Kind of messed that up, but whatever. And then the Katana, which is just a clean boost. So this is just for like when you want to do a solo. And this is with, I've got the boost on too. So yeah, I, uh, gonna be hearing a lot of, uh, the continuum on, uh, D-Stack, D-Flat coming up. So just so you see it plugged up with all the cool lights on. Ready to rock! That thing is so loud. I was not expecting that <laughs> to blow through the speaker. And then right next to it, of course, I can go full throttle with everything on but yeah it just looks sick i i mean just from uh an aesthetic standpoint they knocked it out of the park uh i want to play with it a little bit more and really see what i can do with the uh the different settings and stuff because there's so many ways you can attenuate it and turn the boost off um but again, when I first saw it i thought I, this was like a fake meme or something but the fact that this actually exists it's just awesome. I mean, there's just so much 
out there now. Like, if you want to sound like John Mayer circa 2007, go ahead. Um, if you want to make a, a guitar uh, that no one else has and, and piece together, go ahead. I mean, the, the music scene and just guitar in general is, is just really going in the right direction. This is amazing.